Well, good morning, friends and family. It's Frank here again with yet another video. I know it's been a while. I've been really busy. Haven't really been able to get out and about a whole lot as I myself have been transitioning over to being a full-time villaging resident or villager or however you want to say it. But this morning, I thought we'd come out and check out the the new Grady Villas that I think has been recently announced as them being opened up. Um, as you can see, we're just going to do a little car ride around, see what they may have been doing different, if anything at all. But I like to check out the new villas, wherever they may be presented, to ride around and look at it. I just like to see if there's any different setups or you know, anything that they may have added differently. Cause it seems like every village, you know, that has their villas in it has a little different nuances, but maybe they don't. I think they do sometimes. They're hard to recognize some days, but, but anyway, even if they're exactly alike, let's go take a ride around and let's see what we got. Hope you enjoy, stay tuned. That one is sold already. That hadn't even been opened up 10 minutes, it seems like. Woo! But like I normally do, we're just gonna ride around here and right around the outer perimeter of the neighborhood and then I'm just gonna loop around on the inside. There's still some work going on in here. They're not 100% done, but they may be 100% opened up for sailing, obviously. Wow, this place here, whoever buys this village is gonna have a nice big parking space. Wow, lucky ducks. And they're gonna be right next to Highway 301, right back there. Um, we wouldn't be too happy about that. Now right away, I'm already noticing, as I've mentioned before, before the video, how they tend to change things up. But if you'll notice, that's a haven with the garage. The floor plans have flipped. <laughs> There's a retreat right here. So instead of that garage being over here, they just, they flipped the floor plans around to make them opposite. I'm not so sure I like that, but that's what they did. Now, was that a deal breaker for me? See, there's a haven with the garage. They flipped from the right to the left. Interesting. Here's a little villa right here that's a slightly different appearance. I'm not sure what model that is. I'm going to kind of crawl here a little slow because I don't want to run over anything weird. As there's still work going on in this neighborhood. Huh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna call Grady Villas the flipped villas. The reversed villas. These for the the smaller patio villas. There's the main highway right there behind that wall. You're gonna be seeing some rubies, topaz. Moonstones in here, I suppose. It's all still heavily dirt right there. I'm a little leery of driving through there. Maybe all right, I guess. But they're still working on all these villas in here in the inner perimeter of this neighborhood. So I'm going to try to ride around the cleanest part of the road in here. When the villas get ready to open up or any of these neighborhoods for that matter, they bring the street, street sweepers in here to clean it up, but I could already see that there's areas in here that's, that hasn't been done quite well. Parts of it have. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Nice and cool. Almost jacket weather at least for the time being. And I like to get out here at certain times of the day, whether early in the morning or late afternoon, for the vibrancy of the colors shadows but that's just my thing uh, you can see they still got the sod to drop down so some of these homes aren't at 100% completion now we just came down on this side with the smaller villas right in here here's the street names for anybody who likes to figure out where we're at i'm gonna pan back around and come down the other side of this street right here or we didn't come down here yet so for the most part, the villa neighborhoods are set up pretty much the same. You have an outer area, and then you have an inner island area of homes that they place. Sometimes their design and the shapes are going to be slightly different, but the concepts are pretty much the same. But they do have some different model homes in here that I can see just by looking at the outside of them. Some of these houses are different than some of the, you know, other villa neighborhoods that we've rode around in. Now, I don't know if they're calling them by a different name or anything yet. See right here, I'm not sure what they call this villa, but it's really nice. It's larger, you know. This slightly different floor plans. But for the most part, you still got, you know, very, excuse me, you got same build, uh, floor plans as you do in some of the other neighborhoods. And I apologize, I just can't talk this morning. But overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty nice villa neighborhood. And you're really in close proximity to two rec centers, basically, two pools. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, like I said, I rode around, we went on the outer perimeter of the neighborhood, then I just ride around on the inner part of this. Um, the thing about this villa neighborhood is still 
a lot to do yet. They still got some work to do as we, as we saw in many of these houses. I apologize for just not getting my talk out very good. It's still early in the morning. I ain't even finished my coffee yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with that. Coming down here to the Grady Villas. I already did see a villa sold. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Well, folks, I'm back again. If you could believe it, I just came down the street a little bit. And what do I find? Charlie Villas. Um, we're going to try to ride around in here and see how complete they are. Like I say, these are really new, and so they got a lot of things going on. And uh, I don't want to run into nails or anything like that. So let's go take a quick look while we're at it. And... Uh, See what we got. I found it interesting they have two patio villas like really in close proximity to one another. But that's cool. Let's ride through and let's take a look at it. Well, here's the Carly Villas as I'm going with. Carly, Charlie don't spell like Charlie, but Carly sounds better. This actually looks like it's been here a little bit longer. A lot done. Everything looks complete and the streets are nice and clean. People are already living in this room. So yes, I'm going with this completely done. This can ride around out here. We're gonna look anyways. Regardless of how long it's been done, It's been real long, but it's not like as if they opened it yesterday. One thing about the villages in these roads, there are a lot of manual hole covers around here. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty a lot of pretty villas around here but people already living in these neighborhoods so they you must have been around for a little while and how I missed it I am really not sure one thing too I can tell you here in the villages people are up at 6 a.m. in the morning 6 6 30 doing all sorts of things they're out there on their bicycles golf carts drills going on i mean it just seems like right at the crack of dawn everybody's out and about you would have thought it was nine o'clock in the morning or something now i'm not sure about this particular neighborhood in regards to it being to full capacity it looks like there's still a lot of available homes that could be sold I'm not sure as to when the villagers actually opened up this neighborhood. But there are already people in it. Well, it looks like there's a lot to be sold still. And as that and as it excuse me, and as we would expect to find. I'm seeing topaz, ruby, moonstones, many of your same villa neighborhoods. Here's the street as well, it looks like going down the outer perimeter of the home. Now the inner area of this is much longer, larger than the one that we just came out of. Meaning the Grady Villas. So each villa neighborhood is not exactly the same. I like this one. I like the way it looks. The long, the long street. It makes it look large, but but it's small enough to be cute and quaint.
they are nicely done you don't get the super vibrant colors and things like that from vinyl siding of course as you would say a stucco home I'm gonna flip around here I'm gonna take a look at the street names of where I'm at Charlie Lane and Sylvania or Sil Silvana or what, Sylvana Way Silvana Way not sure exactly how you pronounce that I really just can't talk very good this morning <clears throat> I do apologize here's a home right here you notice I'm gonna get out here look at this house right quick you notice this very long driveway right here in this particular home and I'm not sure what model it is but some of these look pretty much alike but it just has a huge driveway so if, you know if you're the type of person that moves into a villa and you've got two or three cars well you've got room for a parking lot right here And this road is going to curve around. So right now we're on that. We're going to look at the inner area of this neighborhood. And it's a large, what I call an inner island of these homes. The other one that we came out of, the Grady Villas, was a lot smaller of an area. So you can see it's really long. It goes all the way back down. But you were looking at the sides of these homes. I'm like, there's the front door. Very interesting. I'm going to get out here and look at this, guys. Now, normally, let me show you an example of what I mean by how the villages sometimes redesign stuff. So, like I said, I'm going to get out. And I'm gonna, we're going to take a quick look at one of these houses. And I'm going to flip over to the other side of the house and we're going to see the differences of what the villagers do. Sometimes they'll take the same model homes and they just stretch them in different ways just to make it look different and give you a different layout of a probably the same floor plan. And they're still considered villas, even though it may not end up looking like it. But let's take a quick look at it. So here, right here is an example of what I mean. There's the garage. This is the front of the house. The front of the house is already screened. Now, this could be somebody's home. But I'm thinking the villages screen that front end. There's the, you know. So the front of the house looks like the side of the house. Garage light poles. And it looks like the side of, say, one of these houses see where the front door is in the garage so if you take a walk up here sorry the sun's in your eyes if you look at the sides of the house see how long they are actually you probably can't see if I got the sun in your eyes You walk around maybe to a different angle of a different house. I don't know. I'm going to pause it right here just a second. Okay, well, I found a house. I'm just going to walk up closer to it and say it's very long. So the, the front of that house looks like the side. Here's the side of the lanai, the side door, and a little sitting here on the outside. Um, as an example of how, how long this is. You know, that's your front, front area. And here, they reversed it. They put the garage here, which is cool. It got a nice wide garage. 
nice big wide driveway but the front of the house looks like the side of the house now and they did that to several of these homes all matter of fact all these houses no wonder this whole island area is so much larger because they flipped the houses around I don't know I don't know if I like that um, to me it, it looks I don't want to say manufactured homes you know like a double wide by the way it's just very straight across it, it has that same look to it um, and yes they are quality stick bell houses but the appearance looks like a double wide versus you know your traditional look of a front of the house anyway i got back in the cart let's keep riding around and look at these you know let me know in the comments below if you guys like that idea you know the villages has been known to try to reinvent the wheel if, if you will like they just did. Here's a perfect example of what I had said early in the Grady Villas. They try to do nuances and different things, but this one here is a complete obvious change. They just completely restructured their villas. There, there's the side of the house right there. That house, it was the front as we came by this blue one. And now here comes the normal structure of the house where they were putting the front here and now that's the side. There you go. There's the front right up here. It's totally weird why they did that. Personally, I would, I would prefer it more traditionally like it's supposed to be done in, in my view. See, the side of the house, instead of that being the front of the house with that shape. The front of the house, like it's supposed to be. Now on this side of that street of this same island neighborhood, as we're coming back down the road on the other side, now we're back down to the normal villas as they traditionally do there's a haven with the garage you got your tre uh, retreats nests so now we're back to the normal situation here and several of these houses have already been sold I'm just curious as to, I don't know did I notice the pricing seemed to be a little bit lower or different in this particular area than some of the others you know just like you know, any other real estate situation even in the villa uh, villages location 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 now I'll say right here is a nice villa home it's large is it already bought? I don't know. I don't think so. But this house is going to come with a massive yard. A large, beautiful corner lot. I'm going to point something out right quick. Just, just a little side note. As the sun begins to call, uh, climb up nice beautiful house i mean it is now i you know me and susan we rode it through another uh, villa neighborhood where we noticed that somebody had a large corner lot and they actually came out with a huge birch case and put a swimming pool in here just a thought so if this home is still available and you guys are out there looking you'll call the villages but i i want to say 
that you know as long as they the arc approves and that there, there's a utility area it's like five or six foot from the road whatever area that's yours you know they would have to approve that get the engineering you could put a swimming pool out here and it's like you would be the only villa in this neighborhood with the swimming pool because that's what happened in this other villa neighborhood i can't remember the name of it i believe it was in chitty chatty so this house right here could potentially have a large you know well i don't know about a large pool but you could put a small you know medium-sized waiting swimming pool in here with a huge bird cage because this lot is like really massive one other thing too i wanted to point out if you look over here see this this damage that's chinch bug damage chinch bugs what a lot of people don't realize or don't even know about chinch bugs is they tend to work their way from the road in is that always the case no Sometimes it could be bad saw that just dies too. But here in Florida, especially in the villagers, you're going to be fighting chinch bugs horrendously if you do not properly treat this yard. Now, this could be something else, but it looks like the appearance of chinch bug damage. Chinch bugs love heat sources. Anywhere along the concrete, the asphalt, where it's hot as a heat source, They'll collect up in here and get in. They will destroy your yard and they can also migrate. The adult chinch bugs produce and lay eggs. And then the babies will do the same thing and it just repeats the pattern. Even if you treat your yard, you need to keep treating it for a while until you, you know, kill all the adults and the baby chinch bugs. while i'm on the subject of change bugs here because this you know all these areas is saint augustine grass i've noticed a lot of people have been fighting it including myself i did come up with a secret sauce i'll have to talk about that one day <clears throat> but you got to be consistent um change bugs love rich nutritious lawns like you know the saint augustine the southern saint augustine people will tend to over fertilize it don't over fertilize your yard that that's giving them food do not over water your yards you're not helping matters by doing that people get a lot of chinch book damage and next thing you know you see people trying to water over water the yard so st augustine grass is very specific it's temperamental you should only be watering your yard maybe once to twice a week at a set time soak that water to get down into the soil so the roots will go down and not out anyway that's just a free tip of the day i'm gonna do a video specifically on chinch bugs i think a lot of people need a little help with that well we all got kind of gypped south of 44 by getting saint augustine people up north they got that georgia which is that beautiful grass they don't fight their lawns like we were doing down here it's it's really it's really sad but anyway folks hope you enjoyed today's videos we checked out the grady villas now we're in here in the carly villas i just hope i'm saying that correctly they're really nice i, I just like how they look i like the way that they're designed and laid out i like neighborhoods where you go in and the roads are you know curvy and that kind of thing it really just adds a little character to it um my villa neighborhood really doesn't do that but i really do like it it has something else special about it that really that we love about that little villa neighborhood i have seen some villa neighborhoods that i really didn't care for too much but i did like this one and the gradies were nice too so if you don't mind being close right next to Highway 301, Warm Springs or whatever this is up here, 
you know, if that kind of stuff doesn't bother you, then hey, get with the villages. See about making a purchase someplace. Um, it's all good. See you in the next ride through.